So this weekend we have another Trailblazer beta running in the Hunter Call of the Wild, and this time it's for Truax on Red Deer, which we've been actually waiting for for a long time. They had mentioned they were working on them probably, I don't know, like, maybe even six months ago? I made a guide on them so long ago. And I always make guides on the animals that are about to get Truax, so if you do want to go and look for a Legacy Diamond Red Deer before uh, these Truax are released, I do have that guide out there. I'll post it on the community tab, hopefully... Uh, maybe I can schedule the post to go up at the same time in this video. Um, but yeah, that'll be up there if you want to go and find that. But we did actually take a look at these on the Twitch stream because the beta started in the middle of the stream. So we just switched gears and went to go and look at those. And we got to see some good ones. But basically, I went and shot a ton of Ibex. And I've got all my hunting pressure cleared. So we're going to see if we can get some good uh, True Rack Red Deer today. And honestly, just get a look at them for everybody that hasn't actually seen them yet but I do think they look pretty good and hopefully we can get at least a couple of like good sized tags because it's the bigger ones that are actually really impressive but random decent roe deer on our way and we'll see if there's actually a stag in this herd not the most impressive stag just a four but good start I guess start with the smaller ones then we can hopefully work our way up to some of the more impressive ones but I mean, as far as true racks for... That was actually an animation I don't think I've ever seen before. That was kind of cool. But um, as far as like a small, young red deer goes, maybe a little much mass on those antlers. I'm not sure. But I think they look pretty good. They have the basic kind of shape I think you would need for them. And I mean, they pretty much stuck along the same line as the legacy racks. I would say a four legacy would be a little shorter than this, but I like that they do that. I think most of the legacy racks in the game look really good. So just kind of making the true racks off of that and then adding some variants, I think is really what they should try to do. So that one's a little bigger. Actually, he's not even at all because his left side has like a a proper crown. And his right side just has the two little points, but kind of cool. Get to see a little bit of the variants with these. Now, I have no idea like how much red deer tend to be like symmetric in real life. I imagine with the amount of tines they grow and stuff, they're not super symmetric, but I have seen a good number of these where they're not completely even, so I have no idea if that's like a little bit exaggerated, but I honestly think they look pretty cool when they're not even. That's actually a slightly better six up there that I hadn't seen. Now, I really like this shape. I've seen this one. I don't think I've actually killed one with it yet, but I've seen them posted, and I think they look pretty cool. So I do want to try to get that if we can. Yeah, he's actually going to turn back, so... Let's see if we can get a shot in there. Kind of like awkward the way he was falling down the hill, but yeah, we got a lung. But yeah, this first one, you see like this side's got the crown with the three points. And this side's just sort of a normal two. Looks like a little bit of variance here. And he's actually got no brow tine on this side, which is kind of, it's cool that it's consistent. It's probably just luck. But the fact that, like, this is the side that doesn't have the crown and is missing the brow tine, I kind of like that. But the other six is the one I actually want to see, and I think I ran past where I shot that. Yeah, he's right up here, but I really like this shape. I actually think, for the fact that it's a six, it's kind of insane, and the fact that that's a silver. But I really like this. I don't know, like, what, like, the name of these tines are below the crown, but I like how they're coming out and splitting at the end. I think... This shape can actually be a lot bigger and mythical as well. I believe I saw that. And I really like that kind of concept as well, but I'm actually going to fast travel back here because I want to stay on this side. I don't know what these wolves are actually going aggressive at because, well, that one sounds like it's coming to stay high. But I'm kind of guessing that's why there's no more red deer at this end of the lake because usually there are some. Hi. But, uh... Basically, the reason we started the other two lakes and not the far northeast one was I wanted to make sure all the red deer got to their zones there. Because you're basically, like, right there, and you can go past them if you get there too early. So hopefully everything's here. Well, that's certainly the smallest true red deer I've seen so far. So, get to take a look at the... well, I can't spot him. But, probably level two or three? I had to keep that forward because there was a female in the way, but I think we got him. Yeah, we must have been able to catch the front of the lung. I think he's going to be a three, though. Just because his weight was above 150. 
Maybe a two could be above 150. But he's got a little brow tines happening there, a little fork starting to form. I mean, for the fact that he is a level three, that's probably a good thing. But again, I just don't know how like small red deer actually grow their antlers, but that seems right. So that's another pretty normal one, I would say, kind of along the lines of the legacy racks. But I did actually have a max weight red deer track back there. I guess I must have just like not looked far enough down when we had that initial herd because he definitely fled. So we'll kind of go around the lake. Maybe it'll give him time to actually just come back if they decide to do that. Otherwise, we'll reset the time because I definitely want to, even if it's a seven, show you guys those because even the sevens are like crazy impressive. But yeah, like I said earlier, I think it's good that they kind of stick along the lines of the legacy racks because I think they did look pretty good. So honestly, as far as the small ones go, I think they got them pretty good. But the big ones, if we can ever find a really good one, I think they pretty much nailed them. We have another one of those pretty cool looking sixes. So actually, I think we'll go ahead and try to get that from here. I'm planning on actually fast traveling back and going the other way around this. I think we got an accidental hard shot. That's not bad. But yeah, we'll kill that. And then we're going to go down the other side. So the sixes actually can make gold. This is the first time I've seen that. And it's the same weight like where sixes used to make gold. It's just like 15 trophy rating higher. He's right on gold actually. So probably barely possible. But it can be done, which is cool to see. And like I said, I like these antlers. I think they did pretty good with those. But we're going to go back to the lodge and just go down this side. Just so the wind's better. And maybe that max weight track I had somewhere down in here. We can see if he came back. Ooh, that's a big one. I think that's actually only going to be a 7 or an 8. Yeah, that's just a 7. But clearly the best one we've seen. Now, he was max weight. But I don't think that could possibly be the track I had. Because that was opposite where we are now. I did look. I can't see him over there. So we may have to reset the time. Because I would say they just got nervous and went and drank somewhere else. Because those are calm. Unless that's the same herd. Yeah, I'm spotting in where we shot the level 3. They weren't actually together as far as I know. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, level 7s are quite impressive. I mean, it's just huge. He's only like 6 kilos bigger than that level 6 we killed. But you see just how much bigger these antlers get. And I actually like this time coming off of the main beam here. Kind of ties everything together quite nicely. But yeah, I'm going to taxonomize that. I do have, I think, 3 in the lodge already. Um, but yeah, just so we can look at a bunch of the different racks, we're going to try to save the big ones. That's kind of disappointing. We have another tiny three and then a four down here. But I wanted to uh, check this lake and then I think we're going to reset and go back to see if we can figure out what that other max weight one was up north. Can I even get that shot in there? I have no idea if he's the one we got. And that was probably too high. So I may try to save that one. I'd be kind of surprised if we got him, but we got the tiny one anyway. <laughs> it took so long for me to get back here that the four returned nervous, I think, and then just died, which is useful. And before these Mouflon kill me, jeez, get this guy claimed. So same basic uh, rack shape as the other one. I think I'm just trying to avoid getting killed, so I can't keep that on the screen but I do think maybe the tines are a little too rounded but otherwise they're pretty good uh but yeah let's go ahead and reset the time here and see if we can get eyes on that other one. Ooh, dang that's not gonna be the same one because I'm on the other side of the lake still for a second I thought that was gonna be a legendary I believe that guy's gonna be really close because I've actually seen legendaries with basically that rack He's only up to, like, 250. Which means he's not going to be, like, super close to Diamond or anything. Because I think Diamond's 251 or 253. But still, that's probably the biggest one I've seen. Man, I don't know if I should take that shot, but... They're just sort of nervous walking away. I feel like there's at least a solid chance I got a lung there. Yeah, we did. Okay. 
didn't really want to spend a ton of time chasing him when he's a mythical. Just in case that other max weight one I have is potentially a level 9, because I still don't think he came back. I went across there and looked, and I only saw one random female. So maybe I got here too early. I'll even go back and check again. But that's probably my best one. I mean, if that dude's just going to stand there, he's not that far behind the mythical. Which is dead right up here. But might as well take out that seven as well. If we do another red deer hunt on the beta, the more respawns we get, the better. But the mythical is dead right there. And like I said, I believe I've seen diamonds with this rag that have been posted like in the discords and stuff. So we must just have a little bit too little weight, I would say. Oh, actually, he's pretty small weight-wise. He's only 223. And I do believe I have a higher trophy rating one, but maybe then it's just the, uh, the crowns and everything that have similarity. I'm not sure. But still, definitely one we're going to mount. We'll go and get that seven, and then... We'll try again to see if that max weight uh, track ahead's over there. Like, I know there's one there, and it's not any of the ones we've shot so far. I'm gonna find them eventually, but I don't know what's going on. Now we got a max weight wolf track I'll probably have to look for one of these days, too. He's actually a really uneven one, so he's got, for one, just one brow tine on this side. He's got two there. But his entire left side over here is like those sixes that I shot that I really like. And then this side doesn't have that extra tine that splits off there so that's the second time we've seen like one side lacking some other points and then they also only have one brow tie so I wonder if that is a thing if it's meant to be that way I really like it I think that actually makes a lot of sense honestly I'm starting to wonder if somehow like the level 7 or 8 we shot over here was him because there's no sign of him over there anywhere and like I can't imagine where else he would have gone but I'm sure I'm going to do more true rack red deer hunting on this trailblazer beta anyway, so if we do kill him and he's anything special, of course, there'll be a video with him anyway, but I did actually quickly want to show the biggest true rack red deer that I shot yesterday, and I meant to show him earlier in the video, but I completely forgot to actually mention it, and I guess it kind of makes up for the fact that there's supposed to be one that we're going to kill, and seems like we didn't actually get to get him, but yeah. This is the biggest one I've killed so far on this beta, and for some reason I just completely forgot to actually taxidermize him, so we won't get to see him in the lodge, but... Yeah, kind of an interesting one. We do have one that's actually got like half of that rack, so we can still see sort of what that looks like. But we are going to head back to the Trophy Lodge now. But the one thing I will say is the fact that we didn't mount that one uh, that I just showed meant that we have exactly enough to fill the wall up here. But you can see this guy uh, does have like half of the rack of the one we just killed. His right side. And then the left side is very similar to the mythical we just shot, but there is one main difference. And it's this middle tine here has actually got three different tines coming off of it, where the mythical that we just killed, which is this guy, only has the two, so it's kind of cool that they're actually different. I like that. And then the one above him is pretty similar, but it doesn't have the middle tine at all. And then we have this one, which is the seven that we killed uh, in this video. I actually really like that. That looks a lot like a New Zealand red deer. I think it looks cool. And one last one, which is, I think, also a level seven. Similar, but still completely different. So there's lots of variants with these. And from what I've seen, there's lots of different diamond racks as well, so I'm really looking forward to these actually getting released and starting to try to add to our trophy lodge, because, I don't know, I've needed something cool like this to hunt for a while, so looking forward to that. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.